Hey guys, welcome back. Well, so this is a post Acme 2023 Southern Nationals video. It's going to be my haul video, but I wanted to give my thoughts really quick on Acme. How it went at the new venue um, and everything that went on in a condensed version, obviously. So, the first time I had seen the Clarence Brown Conference Center in person was Friday night. You saw that video where we were there registering. We went in and checked it out really quick. It's great. It was giant. It was really big. Still packed to the gills. Um, there were so many vendors. It was so much fun. We got to see so many friends. Uh, quite a few out of town visitors. Not that everyone's not out of town when you go there, but um, got to see some people that drove far and wide. Um, I won't even begin to name the names. But uh, you guys know who you are, and it was a lot of fun. You'll see some of them on the videos. But the, over the top, that's all I can say. Um, it was great. They couldn't have done it any better, I don't think. Um, it was a wonderful start to a new legacy, or whatever you want to call it, with the Acme. Um, having the show there in, in Cartersville. A little more of a drive, but that's okay. Um, it was well worth it and we just had a great time Friday night hung out with with friends Saturday also hung out with even more friends and uh, got to see the models uh, All the vendors got to buy some stuff A lot of stuff was given to me. Thank you guys and uh, I'll get to that here in a minute, but yeah uh, Busy day. Can I say busy? Can I stress busy? there were like 939 models on the uh on display and i forgot to video the dioramas and i hate that uh after it was all said and done i noticed that i'd forgotten to do that and i apologize to you guys that had dioramas and things like that um it was the very, it was a table against the wall and i totally totally missed it with my camera i apologize for that but it was fun again got to see tons of good friends meet new friends um yeah made made some friendships and i think that's what the 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 biggest thing about this hobby is you make so many great friends and um yeah giving people let me tell you what there are some givers out there thank you so much for um you guys that that gave me stuff and again i'm about to get into all that in this mega haul but um yeah thank you so much and can't wait to see you all there next year I, I did give away some of my some of my, my I did give away some of my some of my new stickers. Um, actually, I forgot that I had them until someone asked me about them. <laughs> I wasn't just walking around. I had usually had a camera in my hand or I was on a mission. There was one particular model I wanted to find and I did find it. But yeah, um, model kit. But uh, some of you did get stickers. I handed them out right there at the end as I'd forgotten all day to do. Uh, I'm a very uh, loose focus kind of guy really easy and it's so easy there to lose focus I need Heather to have a leash around my neck and say no we're going over here you need to do this I meant to do more interviews I don't think I did but one uh, but yeah it was it was a great time overwhelming to say the least but a great time can't wait to do it next year and uh, maybe I need an agenda maybe I, ha I need a, pa a paper that says you go do this you go do this you go do this and that way I could stay focused and get more content but anyway all right, enough said. Thank you, Acme, uh, the whole group of guys. Wayne, um, you're a wonderful, wonder, wonderful person. A wonderful person. And um, the group of guys that helped with that club, just outstanding. All right, let me turn the camera around. We'll see what I got. Stand by. Okay, so instead of moving all those models that you see the picture of in the thumbnail over and doing them, I'm just going to do them beside here. Um, first off, Mr. Anonymous, or Jeff Elliott, a.k.a. Mr. Anonymous, um, he gifted me, or he gifted, he bought these uh, Scale Auto magazines, and some quite old ones. Here's one from 1983. He bought a stack of these things here and gave to me. They are as cool as can be, but uh, thank you, Jeff. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. He walked, you won't believe this, he walked all the way from New uh Vermont to see me. What an amazing person. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, he is a great guy. He's contributed to the channel so much. And I can't say thank you enough, Jeff, 
for these books as well as he also bought me I see he was he was walking around with this bag and he said he's like look I bought this uh Mustang 2 and uh, I was like oh yeah what you gonna do with that he says I'm gonna give it to you so it's a rebuilder but it's an old probably an MPC kit or something like that but it's an uh, it's a it's a cool car he says you can you can pro stock this thing or pro street it and it's already a tubbed chassis which is cool I don't know what kit this is if you guys know uh, let me know I probably could take it apart and see some markings under there somewhere but he bought this rebuilder I think it would make an absolutely cool uh, pro street and that's cool thank you Jeff he also he also got me this let me dig it out I'm very prepared as, as you always know I'm very prepared he also bought me this Ford Courier minivan he said he thought that looked like me he didn't say that but I know that's why he bought it and it's cool and I like Ford Couriers my grandpa used to have my papa papa that's what we called him I had my dad's was grandpa my mom's dad was papa and papa had Ford Couriers which were I think just Mazda pickup trucks with Ford on them but anyway cool kit thank you Jeff and uh, I don't think he got me another one if he did I'll, I'll come to it um, and before I get too far ahead of myself, let me get this stack of books out of the way. I got, um, I missed this, but I should have brought one. Got a flyer from the Low Country Nationals. This is the S SCMA Charleston show that I just went to. But they have moved the date to July the 27th of 2024. And that is going to be at Trident Technical College. I actually took a a course at Trident Technical College in uh, Charleston or North Charleston. I took the 40 hour Haswhopper class way back. But anyway, has nothing to do with this. But yeah, there it is. It's going to be, uh, there's the the times and there's the some of your information so you can see this stuff. But that's where the the new date of the show, charlestonmodelers.com. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to be. July the 27th if all goes right so thanks to that uh, got the got the new flyer for the uh, 2024 Southern Nationals it's gonna be Mustangs and pickup trucks will be the theme um, that's for the Acme show next year and then I got a whole slew of shop cards and stuff oh about dropped it so Rocky over at Star City Scale Modeling gave me his new shop card. He also gave me a sticker. Thank you, Rocky. Appreciate you. Mark Rocky's a great guy. If you go to the Roanoke show up in Roanoke, Virginia, you'll see Rocky there. And then Bob Boosking, Boosking, uh, Rusty Spud Aer Aerodrome um, gave me a card. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate you. And then Josh over at Extremist Models gave me his business card. That's cool. Both sides. Same thing. That's a cool truck Josh built. He gave me two of these cards. I got a shop card from Rockabilly Scale Customs. Um, you can go check him out. Rockabilly Scale Customs on YouTube right there. Go check that out. Bama. Michael Sterling. Bama Scale Models. I I talked to Michael several times um, via messenger and we met finally. That's uh, Michael's shop cart and Bama Scale Mod Models is his YouTube channel. So go check that out. Then I got one from, uh, let me read this, West Georgia Rods and Customs. I'm not sure who this is. But anyway, thank you for whoever you are. <laughs> this is Fred Henry. I'm just joking. Uh, Fred gave me a shop card there. I got a shop card from old Tom Rattler 69. He gave me his uh, 2023 Acme Southern Nationals um, shop card. That's his card that took a top 10 last year. And uh, he seems to always get on the stage for some reason. I asked him if he changed his name from Tom, do you think it's he'd ever, he would still get up there? He said he thinks he's going to change his name to Ruthie so he can continue to get up on the stage. That was funny. Thanks, Tom, for that. Ted's Cars and Guitars. There you go. Get you uh, Go check out Ted's Cars and Guitars on YouTube. Thank you for that shop card. 
Spunky's Model Shop. Look at that truck. Isn't that cool? Um, that was the Fred Henry Appreciation Build, I think, is what that truck was for. Anyway, there's Spunky at Spunky739 at gmail.com. Spunky's Model Shop. And I highly doubt that you could scan that, but anyway, that's that. Thank you, Spunky. And another one he couldn't give me, he had to give me several. Um, Mr. Fred Henry himself had himself an exclusive 2023 Acme Southern Nationals uh, shop car made up. And that is a cool car. Saw it in person. It's on the video. And you guys go check that out. All right. Ruthie. Oh, I'll, I'll get to that later. Uh, on a different video. So. All right. So kits. Other more kits. Almost let the cat out of the bag on something. We'll do a video on that. So things I bought. So the kit that I was wanting, I told Heather, I said, this is what it looks like. I showed her an eBay picture and we went on a mission and I found it. And it is this Monogram 40, uh, Monogram 1930 Ford Coupe, the Special Interest Series. This is a 1974 edition of this kit. I've been wanting it for a long time. Now I can't wait to get more. Uh, they're kind of pricey, but I got this one for $18. You can not you can find them on eBay for around $50. The man that was selling these, he said, hey, I've got a dozen more at the house. I wish I'd have known it. He said, but write your email, or I wrote my email down for to be on a newsletter or something. He he said, and he said, if you'll write down 30 Ford Coupe beside it, I'll know which one you are, and uh, you, can, you can get some of these from me. So I'm looking forward to hearing from him. But anyway, yeah, 1930 Ford Coupe awesome i've been wanting it for so long and it's 124 scale by monogram all right another one that i bought was this little Ravel highway pioneers 1929 four and a half liter bentley so that's cool got it for five dollars there it's a complete little kit super cool and this one's made out of styrene and not that uh Stuff that warps up so terribly bad that they quit using in like 1954. I don't even know what year this one is. Uh, it may say it on it somewhere, but if it doesn't, it is kit number uh, H6, H63, and then 89 cents was the price. Oh, not, it says copyright 1954 right here, so maybe by gallon and gallon, um, maybe they quit uh, using that acetate stuff. So that's copyright 1953, 1954. But anyway, I ain't gonna get lost in the weeds on this thing. Cool little car. Glad I got that. And I also bought for a whopping, although it says 15, I got it for $10. This guy was selling some $10 kits and I was like, oh yeah. So 36 Ford five window coupe AMT. That's cool. I couldn't, I don't care what it was for 10 bucks. Wow. You, you couldn't go wrong there for sure got that one i bought this beer wagon uh kim over in denmark kim's custom garage he had sent me one and uh i do like to have multiples if i build one because it's like oh man now i've got i don't have it anymore although it's built you know you do have it but you don't have it in the box so i got this earlier edition monogram ver or monogram beer wagon a tom daniel Let's see, this is a 1986 edition. I got that thing for, he wanted 29, I gave him 27.50. So I thought that was still a pretty good deal. And I bought, this is cool. Well, I'll wait. Here's another $10 kit. Here's another $10 kit. 51 uh, Chevy Fleet Line. Uh, just like the one that I got that was the whatever the centennial series or uh millennium series and one i just recently got uh that i got from north charleston this one was ten dollars i think for the one in north charleston i paid 15 or 18 but i got this for ten dollars can't beat it with a stick can't beat it with a stick all right another one that i purchased oh yes this is beautiful i got another mercedes-benz 300 sl cabriolet this one was on the table at Acme, built, the one that I built, which actually looks just like this car. But um, I love that, I love this model kit and I love that car. I would take it to every show forever. I just love it, love it, love it. It's an absolutely wonderful kit. It's Italy is who made the, the kit, but it's the uh, 
I got this thing for uh, 20 or $25, I think it was. Can't beat that with a darn stick either. So there you go on that one. I'm running out of places to stack them back here. Also, for $10, I got this from the same guy that was doing the $10. And he had 10 20 and $25 model kits. I think this was another $10 one. It's the ESCI or ESCI Ravel uh, made in Italy Mercedes-Benz 500 SLC. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I thought, man, I can't I can't pass it up for $10. Then he told me his grandfather actually bought this over in Germany when he was over there for some time. So he had he said it actually used to He's had it since he was a kid, the, the fellow I bought it from. He said it used to have the price on it, and it was like Deutschmarks or whatever. But yeah, this one came from Germany. Isn't that cool? And it's complete. I think it is a curbside kit, but that's okay. And last of the ones that I bought is this cool beast, the Thunderbolt 1. I was looking on eBay, and I know that's not a great reference point for price, but they've got them on there upwards of like $140. It's hard to find one for less than a hundred, and uh, this one's still in the in the the uh, in the seal, in the wrapper. I did give forty bucks for it, but it was well worth it, and uh, brought back so many childhood memories for me seeing this kit. And uh, yeah, can't wait to open this one up. That's going to be cool. Big old hard plastic tires. They're not even rubber. I think they're plastic. But anyway, what a what a fun memory that brought back. Okay, now. Um, my friend, you know what? I don't have that shot card out. Darn it. Okay, so I'll, um, my friend Tim over at Step by Step, um, that's his YouTube channel, and I don't have his card right here. I've misplaced it, but anyway, I'll put his, I'll put his channel right here, and I sure hope in the video that I'll remember to do that, because I've done that before, like, here it is and it's like nothing ever shows up so anyway here's tim's youtube channel step by step he is an absolute pro of a builder he brought me two kits and i was so pleased to finally meet him i've talked to him on the phone several times what a great guy he's a friend with mark kuzia over at hobby Dump models and uh, he lives in that area and uh anyway he gave me this check it out a suzuki gx gsx 750 police bike look at that thing isn't that cool he says, I don't know if you've ever built a bike before, but I actually have built a bike. Um, and it was a Tamiya bike. And I've also, on the channel, I built that one early on. And then I've built a big, um, big scale, uh, what is this thing? CX500 Turbo Honda. I got it up here in the, uh, in the case too. But anyway, thank you, Tim, for that. And he also gave me this. A Ferrari F40 Le Mans by Tester. And it's an Italy uh kit and uh he had told me a while back that he wanted to give me this kit and he showed up there to act me with it and thank you tim that is cool as can be and i can't wait to open that up and check it out and then there was jeff over at jeff's model garage the ferret guy jeff um jeff he said hey would you build something if i gave it to you <laughs> I said, yeah, Jeff, the, the, the list is really long, but yeah, I, I, I think I will. And uh, Jeff said he'd like to see this built. So I think I'm going to jump on this fairly quick. Uh, this is the Pennzoil Sprint car. Who's the driver of this thing? I don't even know. Um, but anyway, it's a Monogram 124 scale Sprint car. I'm looking for a 1993 edition. Uh, da, da, da. There's like the initials or whatever the driver. I can't, I, I can't, I don't know. But anyway, cool kit. Thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate you uh, doing that. Got to meet him, spend some time with him. Great guy. And then lastly, if you could call this lastly, there is a stack. Let me tell you what a stack. I'm embarrassed to say, but I can't remember your name. I can't for the life of me remember your name, but he came up to me and said, Matthew, I got I got some model kits I want to give to you. And I was like, oh man, you don't have to do that. No, I won't give them to you. And uh, yeah, so uh, 
let me let me start here. So apparently he really liked Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> so I have inherited some Dale Earnhardt stuff. Well, this ain't Dale Earnhardt, but anyway, this is Mike Skinner. But there's the Mike Skinner, number three, Goodrich, uh, Good Wrench Chevy, and uh, that is really cool. That's the only. This is the only NASCAR truck kit that I've got. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's that's really neat. I, maybe we need to pro street a NASCAR truck or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for that. Man, I wish I could remember your name. In the comments, when you see this, please put your name so I can remember. I, I feel awful that I don't remember your name and you gave me so much. All right, another one is this Gold Edition, the Bass Pro Shops. Um, Dale Earnhardt, number three. I've got, actually, he gave me not one of those, but two of those. So I got two of the Gold Edition or Bass Pro Shops when, it, when old, old Dale went gold for a, well, black and gold for a couple of races. Very cool. Very cool. These are also Ravel monograms, so they're 124th scale. And then, check this out. So, Got the black Dale car and a another black Dale car and just to, you know just because he's number three we got three of the Dale black Monte Carlos right there that's cool man I'd have NASCAR parts forever. For, uh, to build the uh, the Dale cars. Those are three identical kits there. Can't say thank you enough. And then, continuing on with the Dale cars, got this one, the Chevy Plus, or Goodrich Plus, Goodrich Service Plus, let me get that right. Got that one, and I also got that one. So that's cool. Thank you so much for that. And then I got from him also two of the Davy Allison monogram kits. Two identical kits. They're twins. $8.99 at Roses. Roses, is that a grocery store or department store? I don't remember what it was, but anyway, Roses. Two of the Davy Allison cars. And that's not all. Then there were the Don Garlitz, Don Garlitz Winds Charger. And I got two of those Winds, Char Winds Chargers. Don Garlitz himself drove that car. No, not this car, but anyway. I've seen Don Garlitz before. Pretty cool. And then the last one that he gifted me is the Don Garlitz Winds Jammer, the front engine before he lost his foot half his foot because the clutch exploded and went to the uh, started doing rear engine uh, dragsters this was a uh, yep there it is pretty darn cool so I want to say a huge let me turn this camera around see if I can do that without like a let me, now let me get in front of it okay let me see is is it focused okay sort of okay good enough is it? Yeah, good enough. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone. Um, you guys, ooh, that's bright. You guys have given me so much. It's an uh, unbelievable ride that I've been on. And again, I can't, thank you doesn't do it, but that's, that's kind of our English language is sort of bound, bound. It keeps us bound in like our expressions by words, but Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you guys. Everybody that came... There's the train. Everybody that came up to me said, Hey man, love your channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you just for supporting me in that way. You guys that give me stuff, thank you for that. And there's my phone beeping. Amazing. Amazing. Um, this guy that's been driving the train here recently, he, he's really aggressive with the horn. He is really aggressive with the horn. 
uh, especially when he's going the other way and he lights the horn up right over by the house and it's just so loud but anyway guys i've lost my train of thought thanks guys for all you do don't forget as always to go check out hobbynutmodels.com uh, go over there and check out mark's website grab yourself a model kit the paint to go with it everything that you need to build a quality model car with mark's got it so go over there it's always linked in the description below um, I'll try my best to link these channels in the uh, description below if you've not subscribed to these guys Please go do so um, Thank you to my my patreon members. You guys are great. I really appreciate your support I think he's done that should be the last one, but anyway guys. All right. Hey, I'm out of here. I Was wrong. I'm out of here and uh let me go wave to the train. Alright guys, see you later. Bye.